So for this dive, we wanted to take our new friend Brian from Great Lakes Diving Center in Sheboygan out to one of our favorite dives in the Green Bay area, Duck Creek Quarry up in Howard. We created an event for for it on Wednesday, uh, just invited other divers, see who wanted to come up since it was supposed to be nice on Sunday. Um, got a pretty good turnout. Uh, we had a, a great time. Did have uh, something worth seeing, uh, I think, uh, that I think you'll think is a little funny. We went to the Sheboygan Discount Warehouse and got mystery bags there. And we got something that we were able to use on our dives. So as you can see, when we went to the Sheboygan Discount Warehouse in the mystery bags, uh, in my bag, actually, there was a couple sundresses. And we figured, you know, why not? We can, we can wear sundresses for this, this dive. Also along on this dive, uh, Brian Ott from Great Lakes Diving Center uh, and his daughter Allison, this is actually her second open water dive, so he's here in the instructor capacity with her, that's her on the left, he's on the right, they're working on her buoyancy, we're at about 45 feet here, uh, the surface temperature was about 52, it was probably a bit chillier here. And actually, for a second open water dive, this is a kind of a challenging one. Uh, this is a, a wall type dive where, uh, so how the quarry is, is you, you jump in off the dock, and then for about 20 feet from it, you can more or less walk. Uh, but after that, it drops down to about 170 feet. It's very sheer, you have no bottom. Um, so the only frames of reference you have are either your, dive, your depth gauge on your dive computer, there's Brian Flash and that's the OK sign, or uh, if you, you have to look at the wall. Now, we led the way on this dive just because we've dove it so many times. You might notice that the visibility here is uh, a bit, uh, well it's just not what we're used to. At this, uh, at this particular dive, usually we get 20 to 30 feet visibility. Here it's about 10, maybe 15 in some spots. Um, you'll notice a lot of our videography is sideways. Um, we were just more focused on staying with, uh, with Brian and Allison. Uh, the, the squid found a little twig. Oh, here the squid is swimming by me and his, his computer's hanging loose and he donked me on the head with it. Uh, at this point, the squid is leading the way um, back, I believe. And he's swimming in front, more or less swimming backwards so that he can keep an eye on them, and, and I'm taking up the rear. There I am in the background there. By this point, uh, Allison had definitely gotten pretty good control of her buoyancy. Uh, we didn't have a lot of great video from the first half of the dive, but by this point, like I said, she got a uh, hold of her buoyancy pretty well, um, and uh, I know we I hardly used up any air on the way back, uh, probably because I was putting air in to go up and dumping it to go down, uh, just to stay with them. You can see the squid here is keeping an eye on the quarry wall on his left-hand side, and then turning back to... Allison and Brian uh, so that he can keep a reference on them and not swim into the quarry walls. Uh, here it switches to my camera. Uh, this is the the cable you saw right there real quick that uh, in our first video here at the quarry the squid uh, did a fireman slide down. He just grabbed onto it, dumped his air out and slid down. I'll probably splice in a clip of that. Pretty 
pretty routine dive wise at this point. Uh, like I said, we maintained about 45 feet uh, for the better part of the dive. It was about a 30 to 40 minute dive. I had to check my computer for the actual length. A couple times in here, you'll see that the squid gets a little further away than this. Um, and we can still see him because of that, you know, flamboyantly pink sundress. Yep, uh, right here is where I got a little too close to Brian and his fin hit the camera rig. I'm like, oh, sorry. Here's where I'm talking about uh, with the squid being further away. You can just clearly see them. Obviously, there's generally nothing pink in the quarry. After we surface, you'll notice we really didn't see any fish this time at the dive uh, on the quarry. Um, after we surface and are getting out, Brian had a bunch of air left. Uh, so he went up the north side of the, the quarry and he said all the fish were there. Which would, was kind of a bummer because they just make for great video and just a great experience overall. better than we do uh, so it was a little bit murkier than this but uh, overall it wasn't too bad our last couple dives especially at Rex uh, like we dove the fleet wing up in Door County and then uh, tried to find the Appomattox down in, off Atwater Beach in uh, Shorewood Wisconsin uh, we had like four or five foot waves the whole time at those places and there was just like two or three feet of visibility also the Sheboygan Quarry uh, when we dove that at the surface, there was about 8 feet of visibility, and then when we got to 30 feet, it went down to inches. Uh, there was a layer of suspended sediment in the thermocline there, and we just couldn't see anything fumbling around in the dark. So, I say that this is kind of bad, but that's relative. Like I said, it's the worst that we've had here, but this is still fairly good for what, what, we're, what we're used to seeing. Uh, at least the last month or so. Here, Brian's uh, sheer water giving him a scent to learn there. Time we'll do mermaid fins with the, <laughs> with the sundresses. Oh, Demi doesn't want to be on camera. Uh, that's the squid saying to remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.